Hello, I'm Gabe Ortiz, and this is WEDU Arts Plus. In the crystal waters of Wikiwachi Springs, enchanting mermaids swim in the depths. The sirens have captivated audiences for over six decades at this iconic Florida roadside attraction. down in the depths. It was powerful. It's like going back in time. The ancient feeling of, of the water. Whenever you see a, a beautiful young lady in a mermaid tale, that equals magic. Wikiwachu was founded back in the early 40s by a gentleman named Newton Perry. He was an avid underwater enthusiast. He was a diver. He helped train Navy frogmen back in those days. His vision was to take this, this beautiful synchronized swimming concept, um, but he wanted to do it underwater. Back in 1947, the park opened. It was a small 22-seat theater next to a, a road, US-19. We were the quintessential roadside attraction, and really still, it still is to this day. In 1947, my older sister Marty, she drove me up here, I was 11 years old, to watch one of the early mermaid shows. And I decided I just have to do that. When I'm old enough, I'm going to be one of those mermaids. I became a mermaid in 1957. I was uh, 17 years old. Back then, when you graduated from high school, you either uh, went off to school, you got married, or became a Wiki Watch Mermaid. When I first saw the show, um, it, it just blew me away. But being suspended in the water, and the, the way their hair was so gracefully flowing in the water, and it was performing. I, I just think I was born to perform. I didn't care what the medium was. <laughs> practiced three times a day in the public swimming area until Peggy, Peggy Nunn was my trainer, Peggy thought I was ready to swim to the big spring where the shows are performed. The very first time I swam over the actual spring and looked down through my face mask, I experienced vertigo. I thought I was going to fall. I was floating over a miniature Grand Canyon. The spring is a first magnitude spring, which means uh, 65 feet below where the mermaids perform is the opening to the aquifer. And out of that opening pumps 117 million gallons of water each and every day. Dive into that water, and it was like silver diamonds, rivulets all over you. It was wonderful. learned the ballet routines. We learned to eat a banana, drink a bottle of uh, soda pop underwater, and breathe from an air hose. Newton Perry, he brought this um, idea of an underwater breathing apparatus, which is the air hose, which we still use to this day, and taught the women how to use the air hose. Of course, with no weights, no scuba gear, uh, which was a feat to do. I watched her through the glass pane that faced the spring. She performed a slow motion ballet, arabesque, then arched back into a knee back dolphin and ended in a swan position. Keep your legs straight and point your toes and, and hold your head back and arch back. Each girl brings a certain type of artistry, if you will, to their performance. There's no frills, there's no special effects. It's just a beautiful, magnificent spring and then you throw in beautiful mermaids, it just creates that magic. ABC, American Broadcasting Company, purchased us, and then we went into the big time. We thought we were big time, but we weren't. <laughs> Not until they came in, they hired show producers, they hired costumers, they hired prop designers, they built a new million dollar theater, for goodness sake. 
they piped in music into the water. We could actually hear songs. And for the first time, we, we did choreographed uh, performances to the music, and there was a storyline to the show. They pictured that we would be the Ziegfeld Follies of the underwater world of Florida attractions. Well, uh, they got pretty close. Coming out of a small high school in a small town, it was big stuff. Heck, you got fan mail. People wanted to meet you. People would ask for your autograph when we came out of the spring. And we had uh, celebrities come through. Elvis Presley came and I got to swim for him. And that was, that was the thrill of a lifetime. After a number of years, the Disney moved into Florida, and gradually our attendance dwindled until we didn't know if we could make it anymore. To me, the mermaids in this park have been such an iconic symbol for, for a long time. And that's one thing I didn't want to see happen as this place become extinct. We were very fortunate in 2008 that we caught the attention of the state of Florida and they uh, happily agreed to discuss turning Wikiwachi Springs into a state park. With the natural resources that we have here, such as the spring, the scrub habitat, we were a perfect fit they recognize the cultural significance of what Wikiwachi has meant to the state of Florida uh, for nearly seven decades now. And um, so on, in November 2008, we were proud to become the newest Florida State Park. The spring has not changed. It's still crystal clear and beautiful the little bluegill brim fish are swimming around. The canyons that you, that you look down into, they're eons old. Those boulders have been there and will be there until the end of the world. The mermaids are still swimming and wearing mermaid tails and smiling for your pictures. It is a, a mythical siren magic. I'm part of that magic and, and enjoy that magic every day. For more information, visit wikiwachi.com.